All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a live stream. This is a live stream about the fa for hmm, yeah, <laughs> I'm live now, so I can't just do another recording. Basically, I got a comment by David Dale, who says, put a Vulpix or a Growlithe first in your party. You get them almost every time. Thank me later. And then this guy says, uh, or a Corch, wow, it actually worked. Put Growlithe in front and got it first encounter. And so what I'm curious to see, uh, let me just look up Growlithe and Vulpix. Because I think it's not Growlithe. He does have some right in this, but I think it's specifically a Flash Fire Pokemon. And so Growlithe can have Intimidate and Flash Fire. Currently reading off uh, Cerebi.net, let's see here, for the abilities. Uh, and then uh, Vulpix. Oh, hang on. Am I public or privacy? Hang on, does that mean I can just stop? I'm gonna stop and see what happens. Hey there, I'm Daniel. Welcome to another live stream. In this one, I'm going to show you how to easily get a Sislipede, and this is based on the following comment. Uh, David Dale says, Put a Vulpix or Growlithe first in your party. You get them almost every time. Thank me later. And Corch says, Wow, it actually worked. Put Growlithe in front, and I got it first encounter. And so these are um, two people. Uh, I can have it on the screen a little later. Uh, longer, I mean. Um, these are two people who this worked for and then in my comments for the Sislipede how to get video uh, there were a lot of uh, people who had found it um, seemingly way too easy or way too fast um, if it is the uh, what is it called the the one percent I am a little confused here because it says No active live stream. Let me refresh this page. OBS says I'm live. There's one watching. If you can see me, can you let me know if it's actually working? Man, I woke up today and I was so excited to make this live stream to show everyone how this works. And my capture card stopped working. <laughs> And now this. I don't know if I'm live or not. There are two people watching. If you can see me, can you please let me know in a comment? Yes! So scam! Hey! Thank you! Uh, let me just uh, re adjust the chat. Close this one. Haha, <laughs> what is a live stream without some technical difficulties anyway? Um, let's see here. It doesn't want to find my window. There we go. Alright, I think I'm ready now to start the how-to. Great, five people watching. It's working. Let me just sip some water and then we can start. <clears throat> uh, stream health is good. Stream is healthy. There are five people in here. Um, Cellscam says, do you have a shiny in this game? Not yet. Um, maybe we'll hunt for a shiny uh, Sislepeed later. All right, so what we will do in this live stream is to test the following hypothesis. Does flash fire work the same way as magnet pull in earlier generations? 
because it seems to me that based off the comments I, I got on the How to Get Sisley Peed in Pokemon Sword and Shield video, um, the comment right here is correct. So David Dale says, Put a Vulpix or a Growlithe first in your party. You get them almost every time. Thank me later. And then the Quirk says, Wow, it actually work. I put a Growlithe in front and got a first encounter. And so what I believe, it is not necessarily that it is a Growlithe or a Vulpix, uh, but I do wonder if it is because of the Flash Fire ability. And so Vulpix, if you catch it um, in Pokemon Sword, you will always find it with Flash Fire. It only has two abilities. Uh, the other one is the hidden ability Drought. So um, if you have Pokemon Sword, what you can do is that you can head over here uh, to Route 3 and look for a Vulpix. If you have Shield, you can do the exact same, but with Growlithe. And basically, there's a 15% chance to find it in the overworld. And if you catch one, um, you can see if it has Flash Fire. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a bit, uh, because Growlithe has Intimidate and Flash Fire. So I don't think this will work if you have a Growlithe with Intimidate. Um, and so let's test this out. Um, FS, hello to you. Welcome to the live stream. I'm very curious if this actually works. And I'm crossing my fingers that just like technical difficulties are over now. Uh, Marco Antonio, hello to you. I'm doing great. Uh, some <laughs> I had some problems with uh, the equipment earlier, but I think I got it figured out. And so I kind of made it hard to just start right off. Uh, really good. Okay, so let's have a look here. Basically what I'm trying to do now is to run into all the Pokemon I see, um, with the exception of the exclamation marks. Um, we want to find a Vulpix in Pokemon Sword, a Growlithe in Pokemon Shield, and if you have Pokemon Shield, you want to check that the Growlithe has Flash Fire. Because I am wondering if Flash Fire works in these games the same way as Magnet Pool. And I haven't explained that fully yet. Um, I'm definitely just... Uh, there we got the Vulpix. My plan is to just have a live stream now, see if this actually works, and then make a, a short how-to. Um, because I do believe that it is important to, to test this out. This information is not to be found on Bulbapedia nor Serebii at the time of this recording, at least I didn't find it. Um, it just says Flash Fire is an ability, uh, it has an in-game effect. But as we are now trying to find out, I do believe that Flash Fire may have an outside of battle effect in this generation. And what Magnet Pool does in other generations is that if you put a Magnet Pool Pokemon in the first spot of your party, uh, the game will force a, um, an encounter with uh, a Steel-type Pokémon 50% of the time, so every other time um, you should be getting uh, a Steel-type Pokémon. And I wonder if it is the same with Flash Fire in this generation, which means that we can look at the encounters. Let me have a look at that. I have them up here somewhere. Let's see here, um, you're trying to complete the Pokedex? Yeah, I'm trying to do that while making the how-tos, but in this live stream, I'm going to see if I can find uh, Sizzlepeed in a much faster way than in my how-to, because some of the comments said that they had gotten it really fast. Um, oh, okay. I forgot I made the, the pump of your how-to. Let's see if I can just do this quickly. Uh, send to boxes. Uh, manual. And I should not have done that. Okay, let's see here. Um, what's the new method, says Nick. Alright, so uh, I got this comment 
I can put it on screen right now, by David Dale, um, who said that if you put a Vulpix or a uh, Growlithe in the front of your party, uh, you'll find the Salicyl much faster. And I do that. Be uh, is, I do believe that is correct to some extent, but I do think it is the Flash Fire ability that is the cost, not Growlithe or Vulpix. And the reason why that is important to distinguish is that um, Growlithe has Intimidate and Flash Fire. So if you have a Growlithe with Intimidate, I don't think this will work. I believe that the Flash Fire ability may have an outside battle effect, um, likewise to Magnet Pool and Static in earlier generations. Uh, and so that's what this live stream is about. I'm just going to test it for myself. Like, let's say I can find 10 Salicyl within... 20 encounters, something like that, then this works for sure. It's just not possible to get that many Salicyl when it's a 1% chance. And so when I've done that, uh, maybe we can just run around some to see if we can find a shiny uh, full odds just, just for fun. I don't know if that will work. Uh, we can chat some. And I don't have the cable. Yeah, okay. So what I need to do now I forgot that I caught a Pumpkaboo. Uh, I thought the Vulpix would just be added to my party. So I just have to find it. And then what we want to do is to move it to the first spot of the party. Do like this. And this is important because if you go into Vulpix or Growlithe's um, summary, you want to head over here and see Ability Flash Fire. Uh, and this powers up the Pokemon's fire type moves if it is hit by one, and that is inside the battle. And I do believe that it has an outside of battle effect. And so that is what we're gonna test now. Um, if you didn't see the how to get Salicyl, no, uh, Salicyl? Sisselpeed, man. <laughs> These new names are sometimes a little difficult to, to remember right away. Um, basically, there is usually a 1% chance of finding Sisselpeed in the grass when the exclamation mark comes up and it shows the first encounter. This might work? This might work. Okay, so basically if I... don't know if I can get in the first ball like this. If not, I'm just gonna run and see how many I can do. Yeah. Oh, actually this gives me a perfect um, opportunity to try something. Uh, I'm gonna heal it up now, but later I'm gonna see if it works if it's fainted as well. I think that's how Magnapool works anyway in, in the horror game, so yeah, let's see here. Uh, Marco says, will you shiny hunt like you did in Let's Go? Definitely. I look forward to do some shiny hunting. Nick says, uh, was just watching your first video and got this stream recommended to me. Glad I didn't spend so much time looking for a full odds one. LOL. Yes, and, and but this is just the way with new games, like, we can't know. Yeah, see, it, it works, um, so there's proof right there. There are three Vulpix just running around, and Vulpix is uh, a fire type, and so in the overworld and in the hidden grass encounters, there are uh, fire types, and so you can see that every other Pokemon is a Vulpix. I think this is proof enough. I think this is proof enough. But let, let us try the hidden grass encounters and see how they um, will do like... Let's do like 20 hidden grass encounters, see if we find about 10 uh, Sisselpeed. And if that is the case, then this works for sure. This is our second encounter back to back. Man, it's it's fun to make new discoveries um, uh, like this with new games. Uh, do you think that Sword and Shield is worth getting? Not sure if I should get it or not. Um, Harry, I would like to know what your thoughts are on the game and what it is that are um, holding you back from getting them. Because to me personally, so far these games have been amazing. Um, I know that the dex cut is a big deal for some people, but I think at the same time, 
uh, that this is the way that the game developers have chosen to do it. In my opinion, it seems that they have done a really good job incorporating the Pokemon that they have put in the game. And so that is that. Uh, LOL, got one first try. I've seen some live streams and it seems pretty hard to get a shiny. Uh, full odds, it is 1 in 4096, I believe. I don't think they've changed that. Uh, if so, then don't quote me on it. Uh, we're still two days in with having this game uh, released. And so, so far we've had three Sisalpede encounters, and so this may be it. Um, yet again, I would like to give a thank you to David Dale, uh, who suggested that Vulpix or Growlithe in the first spot in your party will, will trigger the, the Sisalpede encounter. It is almost correct, it is the Flash Fire ability. Um, and so, if you have Pokémon Shield, be careful, uh, you won't be finding Sisalpede as easily if it has Intimidate as its ability. I do believe this is Flash Fire. I've tried to really drive that home for the people who would like to jump a little bit in the live stream. This is the fourth encounter. This works. This is pretty fun. Um, Alright. I think the next thing I would like to do is to see if it works while it's fainted as well. And so I am going to run into a few encounters and just let it get hit. Because that would be an interesting um, discovery if, if that is different somehow. So I'm going to just wait it out potentially. Let's see if I can just use a, an item that doesn't work. Yeah, see, it doesn't get used. So this is how to skip turns. I found this out in uh, Sun and Moon. Or was it Let's Go? I don't remember. Uh, nothing really holding me back. Um, I haven't played a Pokemon game in a while and feel like getting back into it. Um, it just, if it's worth the money, I understand. So do you already have a Nintendo Switch? If you do, then definitely this. If you like Pokemon or have liked Pokemon, this seems to be the game to jump back in on it, and so I don't know what else to say than than that. Well, uh, hello to you, King Mimikyu. Welcome to the live stream. We're currently testing if the the Vulpix fainted will still trigger the flash fire effect, and I do believe it is the case. But I just want some video evidence to to back up my my claims. There we go. It is a little sad to see my Vulpix get fainted like that, but... Oh, I used the, the fresh water on the Vulpix. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, I just got shifted down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this works, so we, we're just gonna do some fresh waters. Let Vulpix faint, unfortunately. And then we have to see if this effect still lasts. If that is the case, then this is just set. Um, King, Mim uh, King Mimikyu says, What Pokemon are you looking for? Um, actually, I'm not looking for... A specific Pokemon necessarily. Um, it is Sisalpede that was in the focus of this video, but this works generally. Um, discovering that Flash Fire works the same as with Magnet Pull and Static. And so I'm gonna run. Can I think about it? Okay, so currently my Vulpix is fainted in the first spot in the party. And so Let's see here. Oh, hang on. Item. I came back. Alright, so basically, the Vulpix is fainted, and if we keep seeing Vulpix in the overworld, 
that would suggest that it can be fainted as well. There's a Vulpix. Because Vulpix is 15%. It shouldn't happen every other encounter, pretty much. So, that is that. If I now exit the route... Crystal, hey, welcome to the live stream. We're currently trying to discover a new game mechanic, and this Tyrogue, oh gosh, it's fast. Um, it seems actually like the encounters doesn't work. Because I don't know if you saw it as well, but it seemed like the encounters changed significantly. Once Vulpix fainted, that is an interesting detail. Hey, Becca, welcome to the live stream. We're trying to... F no, there's more. There's no chance there would be this many Vulpix. See, there's another one over there. Let's just reset the route to just make sure that it is not the same Vulpix somehow that is showing up and, and all that. I can give shiny Pokemon... Oh, you have some shiny Pokemon to give in, in Let's Go? If you feel generous, you may want to consider joining the NPC HQ Discord server. A link is in the video description. Yeah, see, there are four Vulpix here. This wouldn't happen with a 15% this many times in a row. And so, um, let's see if we can find one of these hidden encounters. And... Let's just do the same. If we can find Sisselpeed a few times in a row, like that is solid evidence enough. When it's a 1%, like if you can find it five times within 10 encounters, like that, that shouldn't happen if it's a 1%. So we'll just have to try some. Crystal says, hope you're all enjoying your day slash evening. That's very nice of you. Um, I hope so too for everyone here in the live stream. It's morning here in, in Norway. If you're trying to find a Sisselpede in Pokemon Sword, you want to be catching a Vulpix and you want to put it in the first spot in your party. It doesn't matter if you have it um, fainted or not. Um, while yes, it is a little sad that it has to faint, um, it can be beneficial to have a fainted Vulpix in the first spot in your party so that you can have a different Pokemon sent in to the battle depending on what happens um, and then in Pokemon Shield you want to get a Growlithe but make sure it has the flash fire ability I don't think this works with Intimidate and so I do believe it is the same as Magnet Pool in Pokemon um, other games <laughs> like Ultra Sun Ultra Moon yeah, if you're playing Pokemon Shield, try to get a Growlithe, and then, um, yeah, that works. Let's see here. Cause I, I wonder... I have a lot of questions. I wonder and I wonder. I found the Shadow Tag somewhere. Yeah, this is the second encounter. It, like, a back-to-back -back Sisselpede without the Flash Fire ability effect that we're trying to nailed down here um, that would be one in 10,000 for it to get back to back like that so we found one no we found two Sizzlepeed while having the Vulpix fainted we're still seeing a lot of Vulpix in the overworld There's our third one. This is working. We found it out. That's really good. How does Growlithe increase the chance of finding one? Um, there is an ability inside the game called Flash Fire. And if you catch a Growlithe or a Vulpix that has Flash Fire as ability, you can go to Summary and then head over here. It says Ability, Flash Fire. Vulpix can only have Flash Fire as a normal ability, 
And then <clears throat> when you catch a Growlithe, it, ca it can have Intimidate, and you have to be cautious of that. Because that won't work, I'm pretty sure. I can check it, I don't have Sword, but I, I mean Shield. But this looks way too similar to, to Static and Magnet Pool. And so that is what I would put my my money on. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, see this this is just solid yet again. I would like to give a thank you to David Dale um, who <clears throat> Helped us discover this um, He said that you could put a Vulpix in the front of your party and then uh, you would just Magically increase the chance of finding Sisalpede and it was 95% correct you do have to have a flash fire Pokemon, so I do believe that he may have a uh, a copy of Pokemon Sword. Yeah, this is just solid. My Yamper found a Pokeball. That's pretty cool. It's because of the pickup ability. This makes me really curious to figure out when you can get a Magnet Pull Pokemon. Because that would be really cool to get Fair Seed this easily and the, the Sisalpede. There's another Sisalpede. Man, this is a great way to shiny hunt Sisalpede. I think this will be one of the first uh, shiny hunts I do. I really act. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I really actually like Sisalpede. Um, I haven't looked too much into its evolution yet, but from what I, I peeked on on Serebii, it looks really cool. And so, I'm excited for it to evolve. Level 28. Hey Nerth, I have been watching for many years. Can you please share your friend code? Um, we really want to play with you. Um, to do raids, etc. I would recommend you to hop over to the NPC HQ. I do hang around there um, quite a bit, so... It's not unlikely that you'll get to have a raid together or something like that in the near future. I found out Mimikyu has a 3% chance of appearing. Uh, stoned SSJ. Drop me some credit. Are you David Dale? If you're not David Dale, then then that is not uh, how this works. Because while like I, I saw it in the comments of my video that something was weird, um, so while um, David here was the reason why I decided to really look into it. Um, I did figure out the flash fire part on my own. I do believe it's just another static in Magnet Pool.
yeah, this works. Awesome. It works both when Vulpix is fainted and when it's not. And so this is just good. I'm excited to make another how-to on this. I think I would like to go live for, or be live for another 10 minutes, and then I'll go back to making some how-tos. But I hope this live stream was interesting to you. We figured out how flash fire works outside of battle in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, LOL, me and my brother tested the flash fire, and I made um, a video uh, three plus hours ago and commented it on your video, but okay. I read all my comments, so if it's not David, um, then you can have your credit here in this live chat if you're going to be that pushy about it, but yeah. It's just how it is with these new games, like we discover things and... Obviously, I wouldn't take the time to take a screenshot, send it over to the computer <laughs> if I was not interested in giving people credit. Uh, let's see here. Um, Hickory says, what's the new method? Alright, so in Pokemon Sword and Shield, it seems that the ability Flash Fire has the same effect as Static and Magnet Pool, um, but for Fire types. And so Static will increase the chance of Electric types if you have... Um, let's say a Pikachu with Static in the first spot in your party. It doesn't matter if it's fainted or not. And the same with Magnet Pool for Steel types in uh, in the games where if you have a Magnet Pool Pokemon in the first spot in your party and there's a chance for there to be um, a Steel type encounter wherever you are, then uh, the game will force a 50% encounter rate for that Pokemon. And for Pokemon like Sisselpede, it is very crucial um, if you want uh, a good shiny hunt method. And so, yeah, it basically goes from 1% to 50%, and that's significant. Uh, can't you just catch it in the fire gym when you go there? Um, that is a spoiler. I haven't made it that far yet. And so I know that some people have commented on my videos about how uh, you can get it in the story and in max raid battles. Uh, the max raid battles I did say in the, the how-to as well. Um, okay, thank you. I've been searching for Sizzlepeed the whole night. I know, it's very difficult to find. It's a 1% chance. I spent 90 minutes myself Yesterday, just intensely, just running into encounters, it took me 270 encounters before I found it using random encounters. Uh, but yeah, this flash fire method is just solid. Well, I have to go. It's already 10.15 in Spain. Oh, right. That's okay. Have a good day, though, Hickory. Andrea Molnati, thank you for subscribing. Um, Jason says, hey, Nerth. When you beat the game, uh, will you make videos about racing your Pokemon stats? 
I will likely do something similar to that. Um, I am actually more of a breeder than, than anything, so I'll definitely test out these new ways to enhance your Pokémon, but it is also likely that I'll just stick to breeding. Um, Hickory, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Jason said, oh, sorry, I <laughs> I tried to read up everything. Um, hey, North, did you beat the game yet, or are you in the beginning? I am currently at the point of my last how-to. That's just how it goes. I just play through, catch all the Pokemon, make videos along the way, and then and that's how that works. So I have made it to Route 4, and I've caught all the Pokemon there, and then I'm about to go inside and and have my first gym challenge. Uh, will you beat the gym with us, or will you stop streaming? Um, I'm likely to... No, I think... I think I'll stop streaming, and then I'll make the how-to now with the Sizzlepeed. Uh, because I need a more condensed version of this, and I think it's more um, easy for me to just make a new video. And so, I'll just run around in the grass some more, talk to everyone in the chat, and then get back to recording. There's currently 10 over here too. Uh, as in Spain. And it's a new day for recordings. I do try to make my channel... I don't want to flash spoilers, obviously. If you scroll through my channel, you'll find the encounters um, that you can find in the, in the games, but I don't know. I feel like that is what people have come to expect. Just go on the channel, find some how-tos, and then, then that's good for now. Can you imagine? 1% goes to I hope that the shiny charm is still the the same as in earlier games. And if it is, I'm going to go straight back to Route 3 once I've got the shiny charm. And I'm going to do this in a shiny hunt for Sisleypeed. 
Uh, sorry for asking. So many questions, haha. <laughs> uh, but did you pick sword or shield? Says Jason. Just, uh, <laughs> no problem. If you have questions, just come with them. It's fun to interact with you in the chat. Uh, so, I chose Pokemon Sword. Uh, you can see that in some of the videos, they will say, like, how to get Vulpix in Pokemon Sword. And then it will say, like, version exclusive in the parentheses. I haven't gotten Pokemon Shield yet. Um, so, that's that. I just think Sashian looks really cool, um, though I am a little sad over the fact that I won't get Galarian Ponyta in Pokemon Shield, but that's just how it goes with these these games. They want to put some cool Pokemon in both versions. Crystal says, I feel that sword version is the more popular version by quite a bit. Really? I thought otherwise. Maybe it's just inside the Discord that everyone has shield, but... So for those of you who are still here in the live stream, um, man, I just have to disclose that I was a little, uh, what is it called? Like, not, not necessarily upset, but I was a little like, uh-oh, what's going on here? Because I, I spent about an hour trying to figure out how my capture card um, worked uh, or not worked necessarily. I can't even talk. I just need a take a break because the couch card stopped working I changed all the cables and it start, started working again and it took a while until I found cables that worked so uh, kind of usually when I start a live stream like I'm, I'm really pumped and I'm, I'm excited but this was just like man every second that I've been live streaming so far I've just been like Capture card, don't die on me, please. So, I hope that for for a future live stream, that it will be uh, a more engaging and and uh, interesting live stream. Uh, to some extent, it was a cool live stream. We figured out that flash fire uh, works the same as static and magnet pool, but for fire types, and so it was useful. I'm not gonna end the live stream in a minute and make the new Sizzlepete how-to. Um, Jason says, what capture card do you use? I use an Elgato HD 60S. So far, it's been perfect. No problems whatsoever. Uh, but I, I do think it might have been the cable uh, because it's been in my computer for a while. And I wonder if it's just bent or something. It kind of sounds bent when I <laughs> move around on it, but it doesn't look like it, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, basically, I only have one cable, and so I was like running around the house here, so I'm in, in some other place. As you can see, I got a bunch of pillows because uh, it's very echoey in this, round, uh, in this room. If you go back and watch some videos that were uploaded before November, you'll see that um, in the apartment, not here. So, oh, that is that. If the capture card worked this whole live stream, crossing my fingers that it was the cable and it, that it's not the fact that I've been using the, the capture card for 
few tens of hours at this point. And so, yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, it was exciting to uh, see that this method worked. And then I'll see you around in a future live stream in not so long. Hopefully when I'm not bummed out because of the capture card. And then, yeah. I wish you a good time with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And good luck on your adventure.